This video demonstrates my neodymium anglin coder. The radial lines on this card are spaced every 10 degrees. Let's measure a few angles. I'll set the um, arm to 30 degrees. We'll have a look. And on the screen we get 30.13 degrees. I'll set the arm to 60 degrees. And we'll have a look and you'll see 60.43 degrees. I'll go up to 90 degrees. And you'll see that it's 90.99. I'll go up to 180 degrees, somewhere up around there, somewhere, and you'll see that we're <clears throat> 179.93, and I'll bring it round to 270, and you'll see that we're 169.91 and I'll bring it full circle around to um, start there somewhere and you'll see that we're around to 359.92 to 360 degrees there um, the software adds the number of rotations but this can be changed um, it's just a matter of subtracting or resetting the um, count to zero when you hit 360. I'll open the encoder so that you can see what's inside. The encoder's got two arms. <clears throat> the magnet arm has ten magnets and they're arranged north-south, north-south to form a circle. I'll place a magnetic viewer over the um, magnets and you can see that the magnetic field um, has been divided into 10 segments. The yellow line represents minimum output from one of the Hall effect transistors and the uh, greeny coloured uh, spots represent maximum output if a Hall effect transistor goes over it. The <coughs> sensor arm, uh, there are two Hall effect sensors, uh, two slots into which the sensors fit, and the slot positions are such that when uh, one sensor is over a blue, bluey green spot, the other is over a yellow one. So uh, the end result is you get sine and cosine waveforms produced. And that enables us to calculate the angular position. Calibration is fairly simple. Uh, all we do is we add a or short pin 8 of my Arduino program to uh, ground <coughs> and then you just rotate the um, magnet arm a few times and then remove the short. Uh, calibration values will appear on the screen when you do that and if you want to avoid having to calibrate each time you just simply write those values into the Arduino header code and you'll never have to calibrate again. 
Thank you for watching.